All good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll see you in six hours. We'll, we'll get a photocopy of the license when you get back for paperwork. Really. I think you've got one already. Yeah, it's just every time we fill out one, we're meant to take a copy. So, but do you want to do it now? Oh, oh yeah, it won't take a couple of seconds. Okay, exciting afternoon. I've bunked off work again. <laughs> There's my GS. Today we are having a go on an Indian 1200 FTR. It's had the exhaust worked. Uh, I think they've taken off the catalytic converter, which you're allowed to do in New Zealand. Um, it is a really, really good looking bike. I'm really excited to have a go on it. It's not the sort of bike I've, I've had a go on the, these big Indians. I've had a go on the Chieftain, and I'll be completely honest with you, it was too big and too heavy for me. But this is a different beast. So yeah, let's do it. They're just photocopying my license. All good. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Have fun. We'll do. <laughs> See ya. The kind folk at. Wanaka Power Sports have let me have it for the afternoon, which is brilliant. Um, hello and welcome to those new viewers that are here just to check this bike out. Um, we have a YouTube channel, me and my wife, and basically we cruise around New Zealand on that GS there, and um, we make videos. Oh, the clutch is biting right down there. Oh, that clutch is terrible position. Let's try that. That's a little bit better. Oh, here we go. Uh, initial reactions. Oh my gosh. Um, for for a big bike, it feels like I'm on a scooter. Flipping egg. <laughs> I'm kind of a, I'm concentrating very hard at the moment. Uh, yeah, so they've got the clutch set so that you have to pull it all the way back to the um, handlebar, which feels quite weird. And it looks like I need to adjust my GoPro so that it's sticking up a little bit more as well. I'll pull in down here. Yeah, um, you're right on top of the front wheel, like right over it. I can, can you see the front wheel down there? You're right over it. There's my mate. Right, here we are. We're in little New Zealand, New Zealand. Um, I've got two options, which we'll go to. I'm going to go... I'm going to go up the side of the lake. I've got two options. There's two lakes. I'm going to go up the side of the Wanaka Lake here. But I am going to pull in. Oh, it sounds amazing. <laughs> Let me just pull in and adjust this. Yeah, they said they, they've cut the catalytic converter off. So they said it runs a bit rough at first. But once you get going, it's brilliant. Let's just move that across a bit. My Hero 4, to be honest isn't picking much up it's just getting the sound more than anything let's see how we go with that there um to the more regular viewers you'll be saying tom what is that jacket you're wearing surely surely that's a girl's jacket <laughs> sadly um i live in a little country called new zealand and this was the only jacket it was the only Airwave 3 in the country. Um, and I really, really, really didn't like the colour. Um, but it's the last one they had, so I just had to get it because I'm not going to wear my leather jacket again all summer. Well, what can I say about this bike? So far, the seating position on it is really really different to what I'm used to very different from the GS I'm sat slight oh knocked it out of gear I'm slap sorry I'm sat kind of upright but but kind of leaning over the front wheel which is kind of a nice feeling 
and my legs are sort of tucked up nicely behind me which are quite light but it's definitely comfortable I could definitely travel on this this sounds unreal right this is the little town of Wanaka which is currently just about empty um, because there's no tourists in the country So F, oh, can you hear it backfiring? Brilliant. <laughs> I love it. It's got very, very firm suspension. Uh, feels nice. Right, that was the little town of Wanaka. Yeah, we're gonna go up the side of the lake here. Mirrors seem great, kind of a bit spoony, the uh, big round ones. I'd want to swap them if I was going to get the bike and stick the little cool ones that go underneath your arms. They look great. I'm not going to bother with any of the settings. I'm presuming that they've got it set up on sport mode for me because they know me there. Um, it says sport. Yep, yeah, we're good. Um, sounds unbelievable. Love it feet position is great I can reach the clutch it's a little bit hard to change down you've got to really lift your foot up but I imagine that's adjustable it's got some sort of trigger on oh uh, what are they lights it's got triggers on the I don't know what they are that looks like lights to me and then I don't know what that trigger there is give it a press and see what happens oh okay that's to go through all your gauges phone music it's on let's have a look it's on rain sport i don't standard i guess that is in the middle something's on auto that's the lights are on auto it's got track oh that's switched off abs and tc looks like it's switched off right better be careful I love the sound. It is a V-twin. It's 120 horsepower that kicks in around 8,500 revs. So I'm going to give that a go in a second as soon as I get out of town. Sort of feels like you're sat on the front wheel and you're sort of trailing a rear tyre. And you sat almost bolt upright. And then if I sort of lean forward there, I, I definitely feel like I'm just sitting on the front wheel. It's quite strange. It feels smaller than a scooter, that's all I'll say. Mind you, I'm used to a GS, so that's a big old bike. Right, we'll be able to rip it in a minute through here, just got to be careful. Yeah, thank you very much, Power Sports Wanaka. This is a real treat. We don't get to test ride motorbikes in New Zealand. It's not a thing here. Like, I'm really keen to have a look at the new Multistrada, but uh, I phoned up, the, there's two Ducati shops in the whole country. There's one in the South Island, one in the North Island. And I said, I want to test ride or have a go on the new Multistrada. He basically laughed at me and said, yeah, that's $42,000, please, sir. We'll order you on. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, guess I won't be test riding that. Right, it's got a nice gear indicator. Yeah, so when you get up to speed, the wind is splaying my legs open, which is a bit weird. Got absolutely no protection from the wind at all. Oh, it's so snappy and talky. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Right, I'm hoping it's not picking up my speed on the camera. Yeah, oh crikey, it, it, the wind, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, it's quick. Okay. Right, speed confirmed. It's blisteringly fast. Oh. I'm in sixth gear, and if I just wind on the, oh that's insane. Flipping it. Okay. I had no idea it was this fast. 
flipping him, but actually having to tense my muscles to hold on. Wow. Yeah, so for me personally, a negative is the amount of air that you're getting in, in the front of you. But apart from that, I can't see any, anything else to complain about. It, it's just bloody awesome. Sounds amazing, looks beautiful. I'll pull in down here and we'll have a bit of a better look. Mirrors are great. The, uh, the, my biggest complaint is holding on is hard work. <laughs> I'm not used to this level of torque. Oh, crikey. Oh. I'm not exaggerating, but I'm not going particularly fast, but holding on with the, the kick in the backside from the rear wheel and the air pushing you is quite hard. Right, we'll have some go some twisties up here. The, the suspension is rock solid. I know it's sort of um, got its roots in like American early 20th century track style racing, uh, which I know absolutely nothing about, but it definitely looks like some sort of retro track bike from back in the day. Why? Wow, it, it is really quick. There's absolutely no movement in the suspension at all. It's rock solid, which I like, to be honest. Yeah, I'm in sick. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it in sick. I don't need to change down. Yeah, it, I'm not even trying around these corners. I'm flying around it. Wow. It doesn't feel like it's got a quick shifter. I can't. I can't. Oh, it has. No, it hasn't. I don't know, I just changed down. <laughs> I don't think it's got a quick shifter though. Right, here we are, beautiful Lake Wanaka. We're gonna go up the side of this lake, it's amazing. It's a great day to be alive. I'll find a suitable spot and we'll pull in and have a look at it. Let's go through this nice little twist as it's recommending 55 here, so we'll try and double that. It goes round corners with absolutely no effort at all. Love how it sounds, wow. Let's try. Yeah, the sound, wow. You can't really beat a V-twin for sound, can you? I guess a V4 is pretty nice, but a V-twin is definitely so raw. He said this thing rides quite raw because they've removed the catalytic converter. I'm gonna pull in down the road here. I think there's a little spot by the side of the lake here. We'll, we'll pull in and uh, check out the bike. Love the way it sounds. Love it. Right, let's have a look. Don't like the side stand, it's horrible. Right, how does it switch off? Where are the keys actually, more to the point? Something I didn't check. Oh, it's got a key there, okay. Now it looks like they've removed, the, the standard one comes with like a bit that goes over the back wheel. But I really like that rear swing arm, it looks 
how to describe it, it's like something off a climbing frame. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think you either love it or you hate it. I like it a lot. It's, I guess, harking back to an old school look that's carried on through the frame of the bike. But these, the, the finish on the engine and everything is just really, really nice. I like it. It's a beautiful looking bike. Yeah, look at that. That is really cool. An interesting box there. What's that? The ECU? I don't know. It's obviously got an oil cooler and a water cooler. And then it's got some sort of box on the front there. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Okay, let's keep riding it. What's that nitro on the back? Looks like they may have ups upgraded the suspension as well. Let's have a quick look down here, folks. Look at this. What do you reckon to that? Not a bad place to be, is it? I'm actually going to take a photo. Whew, it is really hot. I might be wearing a girl's jacket, but it's great because it's mesh. <laughs> Indian FDR 1200. <laughs> There's absolutely no movement in the suspension at all. <laughs> it takes quite a bit of getting used to it. It's a very, very firm ride. Right, let's go for a blast. Yeah, the hooligan factor on this is very high. <laughs> you really feel like you're on some sort of badass dirt bike, track bike thing. Oh, the, oh. Good grief, the, the torque and the noise, can you hear it? Oh, did you hear that? Whoa, flipping heck. Oh, wow. What a machine. Thanks, Wanaka Power Sports. This is truly a privilege. Take it steady through here, this gravelly. You're very low down. You, you really are very close to the road. You're right over the front wheel and really close. I'm not quite used to being this low down. It's been a long time since I've ridden a bike that goes this quick. Oof. It's dangerous. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's too quick.
what a bike. Well, I guess I've got nothing really more to say than I'm going to keep playing on this bike for a little while, but I guess at the end of the day, the big question is if you're looking at this video and you want to know a little bit more about this bike, how does it feel? Um, it's scarily fast. I would say if you weren't an experienced rider, I've been riding for about 25 years, you will have an accident on this if you open this up on a corner, it'll spit you off for sure. You need to be um, progressive with your acceleration. If you just, the, the torque is just unbelievable. Oh, crikey. Um, you really, really do also have to hold on. Um, oh, it just feels like it wants to wheelie everywhere. The power is unbelievable. I can't go any further than this. We're, here we are at, um, this is Treble Cone. I did this road yesterday actually on my GS. I carried on on the dirt road and went all the way to Mount Aspiring down there. It was amazing. Like I said, if you just chanced on this video, uh, we're about to do a big tour of New Zealand coming up in the next couple of weeks. Are the deers? Hello. Flipping egg. What a bike. I feel like I'm in a sort of attack position, like Steve McQueen on his bike, just about to jump the fence. That's sort of the way it feels, like you're constantly in that attack position. It's definitely not an easy bike to ride. sounds amazing but anyway as i was saying before i got sidetracked i'm having so much fun on it um in the next couple of weeks we're doing a big tour of new zealand we're going to video the whole thing so we'll make lots and lots of videos and put them out there so feel free to come and join us on our little trip we do it every year um, we, this year we're doing it on a gs uh, last year we did it on an xr um, the year before that we did it on the XR, the year before that we did it on the XR, and the year before that we did it on a Kawasaki Versus. So this is the first proper going away on the GS, which is going to be great. I initially didn't like the GS, but the more I ride it, the more I'm falling in love with it. Right, here we go. Good group. Pull my helmet off. Flip it. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, without any wind protection at all, going. I don't think I was going anywhere near top speed, but it's ripped my helmet off my head. So you'd, you'd almost want to put a little. You know how they have them little racing screens on the front? You'd want something on the front. For me, there's too much wind, no wind um, coming out. <laughs> Flipping. Wow, so freaking good. Wow, what a day. Look at that. hear it. <laughs> Let me just open my visor. <laughs> yeah, but quite, you know, quite well went over. 
I don't feel like my feet are anywhere near the ground, so it can obviously lean over a lot further than I'm leaning it, which is reassuring. I like bikes that you can lean over a long way. Whoa! Absolutely lose your license in five seconds on this. Would I buy one? That's the question that everybody always asks. Of course I would. If I had enough money, I'd go buy one today. Um, would I buy one as my permanent bike? Yeah, yeah, I would, definitely. It's amazing. Could I tour in it? Yeah, I could tour in it. The seating position's actually quite comfortable, surprisingly so. <laughs> Sweet SK. I had no idea. It Whole is, lot of bike, eh? It is horrifically fast. Like I've ridden super bikes and sports bikes and I don't understand how 120 horsepower can feel so fast. It's because it's got more torque than horsepower. Heaps of torque. Yeah, and that's what pushes you forward. Fuck it, it was pulling me. <laughs> like when I really got going, it was sucking my helmet off my head. And I was holding on for dear yeah. life. It's unbelievable. We've, we're just talking with someone about getting 17 inch wheels for it so we can put proper race tyres on it. Ah, has it got and funny size wheels? Yeah, they're 18, 19 Eight, at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, or 19 front, 18 rear. Interesting. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we're looking at putting 17 inch wheels on it and um, a different exhaust so we get some more ground clearance. It is and, um, so loud. It the needs sound, a tune. Probably. It's amazing. It's amazing. Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It needs to be geared up just a little bit so it has a little bit less pull and a little bit more up top. Uh, up top is, like, I don't think I was even close to getting full power, like nah, top speed. Yeah, no, nah, no. It needs to, because it's got a speed cut at 200 at the moment. Amazing. So it needs to, we need to get it tuned, remove that, and then gear it, it up It needs just a tiny a little, little screen as well. Because it was, it was literally sucking my helmet off my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's one over there with the little Indian screen on it, and then oh, I yeah. think Givy or oh, Indian do a taller one as well that sort of sits oh, up almost yeah. the same level as the mirrors. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. cool. So there is, there is things you can do. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. So and then they do another one that Just sits about that high. Yeah. Even there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thanks, Dan. Not Cheers, mate. That's made me day. I'm, I'm glad you're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> See you, bro. See you, bud.